Hi. That's, hello. What happened to the hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> right. Hi, everybody. And um, yeah, first of September. <laughs> spring day. <laughs> You'd <laughs> never say. Um, We're celebrating spring day. <laughs> I think the weather's just as confused as everything else in this world at the moment. But yeah, somebody has decided to go cool climate on spring day. So we're tasting, um, I think we're tasting two cool climate wines. Um, very professional in socks. but anyway. Well, I, I asked you to select a cool climate wine. Yeah. So, and so did I. Exactly what I said. So okay, so who's going to go first? I'll put blindfold on and I'll taste first. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Is there anything different? Are we going to do anything different? No. I think it's just in celebration of this beautiful, you know, first of spring day. This is the one I've got for Georgia. Did I show them long enough? No. <laughs> so just give us a little bit of a, you know, rundown of what you think of the wine. Okay. You enjoy it. Dammi per piacere il vino, come sempre. Thank you. Must I keep my eyes closed? You can take it off now. Okay. Oh, we're going red. Cool climate. Mm. And it's a confusing wine already from the beginning. Confusing? In my senses because my you senses confused. are gone. Yeah, I'm completely confused. The wine's not confused. I am. I really like the color. It's like, it's, it's a deep color, but it's got a lot of, almost like a crimson purple. Crimson? Yeah, it's, it's vibrant. It's luminous. Well, the wine's certainly cool climate. It's got that lovely freshness to it. It's like it's a got, sweet spice to it. It's got cranberries, uh, yeah. dried cranberries. Uh, what do they call those? Guju berries? What? Goji. Goji. Go, goji guju berries. That's not funny. <laughs> um, it's got a bit of a botanical nose to it, too. Mm. You know when you walk past proteas or protea mm. bush? It's got that botanical garden, mm. to, uh, garden to it. Light in color. Um... It's, I, me, it's medium intensity. Yeah, I'm leaning. It's not Cabernet. I don't think it's Pinot. Uh, it could be Merlot. Cool climate Merlot. Could be Merlot. It's a blend. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> no, you're doing more. Merlot's in the blend, so go on. Well, Cabernet Merlot, Cabernet Franc. Is that close enough? Look away. Hello, there's some Maria. It's Merlot driven. Okay. So, so you're not too bad. Okay, can I look again? Yes. Alright, so I don't think the wine's very old. I think the wine's probably about two, three years old. Uh, 2018 vintage. 28 vintage, uh, good quality produce. I love the wine. I love the red fruit in it. I love the, the mid palate. Um, I like the freshness of the wine. But it's not short. It, it, it lingers very well. Um, I think this one will get better. There was oak. I don't think there was any new oak. I don't I like think there was a lot of oak. I like that slatiness. It's like white slate. Mm. Who used it? Tell me, tell me. It is the new release of Paul Wallace ah. Cracker Jack. It's a uh, 45% per Merlot, 23 Cab, 17 Cab Franc, and 15 Malbec. Very, very good. New release. Near release, near very, vintage. very, very good. You know, although the alcohol is sitting at just over fourteen, it's it's not, it's not even there. I mean, the freshness is just unbelievable. Close your eyes. But okay. I think, in the spirit of cool climate, this mm. is a very good example of a Bordeaux-style blend from Algen. Sure, it is. Of course, it is. What Do is they make any bad wines in Algen? <laughs> There's no way. Very There's difficult. just so much. How? What do you score this wine? I should have asked you before I reviewed. Yeah, one. now that I'd see what it is, it's it's uh, no, uh, oh, it won't be fair. Give me a score. Um, 90. Okay. I would be a tad higher. I okay. would be 91. Okay. That's fine. Even 92. Come, put on. Let me give you yours so that you can taste and take you through, through everything. Are we What's good? What's going on here? Help me. Come, Sam. Put on. Help me. <laughs> okay. And this is the little number I'm giving. Miss Summary Smith. That's the little number. Like you already know, it is a cool climate wine. However, that being said, um, you haven't been put through the test for a while, haven't you? 
Tommy. Spit that. Okay, here we go. Oh, you can take your blindfold off, right? Oh, no. All the effort and I'll... No, take it off, Sam. You're not going bobsleigh. It's a bit older than... Maybe one year older than the other one. It's also quite light. So what are you saying? 2017? In look, in look at Gopino, but... Oh, it's quite rich. Mm-hmm. Mm, cool climate also. Mm-hmm. A lot of mulberry. Mulberry? Also some cranberry, but a bit more plush than... Okay. Uh, Listen, the... In, ripe unlike, grapefruit. Unlike you, I've given you a single varietal. Okay. Not five different varieties to try and identify. Quite earthy. Earthy. Mm. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about it. It's 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 bordering on a bit of a brambliness, which I but it's quite exciting. I like it. It's not like it's overripe. Not that kind of bramble. Look at the sun's out. Sam, we really gonna mm -hmm. let's go, Bella. Mm. Vibrant acidity, quite chalky tannin. Mm -hmm. Um. Not not very full mid palate. It's quite a lean wine. I like that salty, almost mineral stoniness about it. Um, it's very red fruit driven, and uh, a little bit of a mocha on the side edges that took me almost to a lighter style of merlot. But I I would think it's you know. Let me just look at the acidity. As usual, finishes off a bottle to identify it's the wine. Merlot. It's what? It's Merlot. Okay. Vintage? Um, 17, 16, 17. Score it? 90. 90? 90. 91. I will score one tick less than this one. So it's 90. <laughs> okay. So it's a 15. It's the Almond Kerk. Merlot 2015, um, single block, south facing, uh, wild ferment, 18 months maturation. I think this wine is going to go the distance. I mean, here it is, five years old, and it's offering gentle, well integrated tannin. It's got great acidity. Mm -hmm. The fruit starts from the tip of the tongue and it goes right through mid tongue, mid tongue, all mid the way through. Um, <laughs> I mean, this could stand up to mm. most Merlots anywhere in the world that mm. are high quality producers and Almond Kerk of course. You know, still like, very youthful, huh? I mean, it just shows yeah. you. Like I said, I think the wild ferment has, I think it's Tukulu soils if I'm not mistaken. Um, That's great. Beautiful, beautiful example of, of Merlot. Mm. A cool but you, but, you, know, but you, know, you know why it was difficult to score them next to each other? It's because this wine have a, uh, it's obviously a lot more youthful and a bit more punchy. Where that little bit of a brambleness is obviously that bit of bottle age. Yeah, that's superb. I enjoyed that a lot. Good. What did you score that? Uh, it's not fair because I've seen the bottle now, okay. but when I tasted it, it was it was about ninety. But you can say a good ninety to ninety three wines, both. Solid, of them. both of them. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bravo. Put off. Thank you. Why does it take so much wine for you to analyze that? I like to think about, I like to think about things. You didn't analyze me that long. <laughs>